Hey guys, it's Joel and Jamie here from Elf's Revolution, and today we're just doing another basic redstone tutorial, for those of you who might have missed out on some of the basics. Today what we're covering is just a T flip-flop, or that's what it's most commonly referred to as, and all this does is it allows you to convert a short pulse of redstone into a toggle. So Joel, if you'd just like to come over here and press this button as an example. Yep, sure. So as you can see, this short button pulse keeps the door open for as long as, as, long you, as want. you want. As long as you want. Yep. So if you just come through. Cool. Yep. Now if you want to press it again. Sure. Over this side. Closes it. Now if you just want to demonstrate that one more time, just open it. Yep. So it's basically an on-off switch from a button. Yep. yep. Now close again. Cool. Yeah. So what that can be useful for is any of these things over here. So a button, a pressure plate, or a tripwire, they all sound send out very quick pulses of redstone. And this, what we're about to show you, is very useful for prolonging that pulse and turning it into a toggle rather than just a short pulse. So now we'll get onto the building of it. Yep, sounds like it. Alright Joel, so now we're onto the building of it. I'll just tell you what materials we'll need. Yep. Start off with a regular piston. Yep. A block of redstone. Mm -hmm. Any solid block for this dem for this time we'll just be using stone. Yep. Redstone dust. Cool. A redstone torch. And any source of activation for redstone for this we'll just be using a pressure plate. Cool. So to start off, if you just want to place two pistons facing each other with two blocks in between. Anywhere you like. Alright. One. One, two, two. Yep. Cool. Now against one of them, I want you to put a redstone block. Okay. Now on top of that redstone block, put your solid block. Sure, sure. Yep. And then just to the right of that solid block, your other one. So it makes like a bridge between the two. Cool. Alright. Now I want you to run the solid block back from the contraption as far as you like. Three, four blocks, it doesn't really matter. Just for demonstration purposes. Alright, cool. Yep. Now, I want you to run your redstone along all of the solid block except for the very end one over here. Cool, yep. Now, put your redstone torches on either side of the solid blocks bridging the gap between the pistons. Yep, so just like this and, and like that. that. Side. Yep. Yep, both sides. Now put your pressure plate or whatever source of activation you'll be using for this, we'll just be using a pressure plate yep. just on so the end here. So you could put your pressure plate or your button, whatever. Your button, whatever you want, just connecting to the redstone on the top here. Yep. Now. On either of the places where the redstone block could be, I want you to run a line of redstone dust as far as you like, just backwards. Cool. So I'll just run it like this. Yep. And then just to demonstrate that the circuit's working, I'll just put a redstone lamp on the end here. So that would be like your door or whatever gets activated? Your door, whatever you want to be activated. Cool. For this, we'll just be using a redstone lamp. Now, yep. if you just watch, I'll come stand on the pressure plate over here. And as you can see, it activates the toggle. So now the redstone block is in front of the line of redstone dust running to the lamp, or in your case, maybe your door, whatever you want. Yep, and this is basically an on state. Yep. Now, yeah, now it's on. And now I'll step on the pressure plate again, or the button, or whatever you want it to be. It flips the redstone block back to the other side, so it's no longer in front of the redstone dust. And your door, whatever you want, in this case it's our redstone lamp, is no longer activated. Yeah, so it basically turns a temporary redstone pulse into a toggle. Exactly. And that's really the gist of, you know, this entire tutorial. It's very useful. Mm, yeah. And um, I guess that's it, Joe. Yeah. I guess if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And we'll see you next weekend. See you next time. So now we'll get onto the building of it. Yep, sounds like it. Sounds like it. Sounds like it, man. Sounds like it. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Don't even care, Jamie. All right, cool. Okay. Also, my microphone wasn't.